What's up, guys? It's Two for Tuesday on Pack Crackers. I got some 2012 core sets to open, and this is the Sphinx of Uth Uthun, Uthun, or the Uthun Sphinx, or something like that, uh, on the, the artwork on the thing, on the pack. Hopefully, I get me some good packages. Let's see, oh, some good cards, I should say. Starting out with, excuse me, I burped. Uh, starting out with Gideon's Lawkeeper, followed by Gorhorn Minotaurs. Drifting Shade. Remember, you can always pause to read about these if you want. I got a Brindlebore, a Siege Mastodon, a Trollhide, Hideous Visage, not a Visage Hideous, Wall of Torches. I got Fog, one of my favorites from the set, one of my favorite commons at least, Divine Favor. If you want, you can leave a comment, you know, tell me what your favorite common is in the 2012 core set there, or just your favorite core set common, really. And I got Swift Foot Boots, two drop artifact equipment. Uh, equip creature has hex proof and haste, and I can equip for one. Then I got Tectonic Rift, it's three and a red. The short target land creatures without flying can't block this turn. Then I got a Cudgel Troll, two and two green for a four three troll that has pay a green to regenerate. And my, ooh, I got a World Slayer, not a bad card. Uh, it's 5 drop artifact equipment. Uh, whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, destroy all permanents other than World Slayer. Uh, with equip 5. Uh, so this is kind of like a board wipe, a super board wipe. Most board wipes only you know destroy creatures or non-land cards. This one destroys all permanents. So be careful with that. Make sure you have some land in your hand before you start you know attacking with that shit. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good card. Not a whole lot of money, but it is a card I've always wanted out of this set that I never got, but I got now. So, one more pack to go. Uh, two for Tuesday. Need more packs open, and you want to watch them? I have hundreds of episodes of this that you can watch. Divination, Incinerate, Basswood Gorgia, a uh, Chasm or Chasm Drake, uh, Siege Mastodon, Stonehorn Dignitary, another one of my favorites. Goblin Arsonist, uh, Arachnus Web, Merfolk Mesmerist, Goblin Piker, uh, Scepter of Empires uh, is my first uncommon. It goes along with the Crown and Throne of Empires. It costs three. Uh, it's for an artifact, and you can tap to do one damage to target uh, player, and it deals three damage to that player instead if you control artifacts named Crown and Tho Throne of Empires. Next uncommon, Flash Freeze, Freeze Frame. Uh, it's one in a blue for an instant, and you can t counter target red or green spell. And my last uncommon is an Oblivion Ring. Still a pretty good card, even to this day. Uh, costs two colorless and a white for an enchantment. When it enters, exile another non-land permanent. When it leaves the battlefield, return that exile card to the battlefield. Under opponents under its, the owner's control is what I wanted to say. My rare and or mythic is a Dungrove Elder. It is a two with a green tree folk, has hexproof, and its power and toughness are each equal to the number of force you control. Good for an all green deck. Uh, so put that in there if you want. There's an ag card. There's a forest. Speaking of which, I got a World Slayer. I got a Dungrove Elder. I'm going to put this on there, and he's just going to destroy fucking everything. One swipe. Everything's gone. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tune in next week where I open up two more, and you watch me open up two more if you watch next week. If not, you know, you can watch the week after. I'm cool with that. Anyway, guys, later.